Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Will the Prime Minister update the House on the government's actions to give our security agencies the resources they need to combat home-grown terrorism? I call the honour on the Prime Minister. Well, thank you, Madam <coughs> Speaker, and I do thank the member for Karangamite for her question. And I can assure her, I can assure the people of Australia, that the first duty of government, certainly the first duty of this government, uh, is the safety of our community. And in fairness, I acknowledge that uh, this has been a principle held by all Australian governments, and it is acknowledged uh, also by the opposition. And I do thank the leader of the opposition for the support that he has given to this government's national security measures. It is particularly important to safeguard the uh, community at a time of increased national security challenges. And as this House well knows, there are some 60 Australians, uh, most of them are born and bred in this country, who are now fighting with terrorist groups in the Middle East. Uh, there are some 100 Australians who are supporting and facilitating the work of those terrorist groups in the Middle East. Uh, I want to make it crystal clear that any Australian who is fighting with a terrorist group overseas is guilty of a very serious offence. And this government is determined uh, that anyone who has been uh, fighting with terrorist groups overseas will be detained, charged and jailed uh, should that person return <coughs> to Australia. Because, Madam Speaker, we have seen what they can do abroad and it is absolutely essential that they never do this at home. We have seen it abroad. We must stop it here at home. Now, Madam Speaker, the government has committed a further $630 million uh, towards uh, our security agencies. I can announce today that this includes $24 million for the Australian Crime Commission uh, to establish a foreign fighters task force, and an additional 22 agents uh, are being recruited to take on this vital job. The Australian Crime Commission uh, does have the power to compel witnesses on pain of contempt proceedings, and therefore it has a unique capacity to add to our understanding of how terrorist and potential terrorist networks operate. I want to stress, Madam Speaker, uh, that this government uh, is putting measures in place that are directed against extremism, not against any particular community in this country. We are targeting terrorism, not religion. That is what this government is doing. That is what this government will always do. But I want to assure this House and the people of Australia that we will do what is needed to keep our country safe. Yeah. I call the